Hello and welcome to America, finally. After many, many hours of flying, I arrived. I'm in a place called St. Joseph, Michigan. I'm with my cousin Heath. He's the reason why I'm here, actually. He says, hey, come to America, I'm getting married. And so, here I am in America, because you're getting married. He's getting married in one day, that's a normal thing here, if you're not familiar with American weddings. But I decided to stay for three months. Thought maybe I'd come, see friends, see family, do a couple things during the summer, since I haven't been home in a while. So today, we are, I thought, well this time of year, right now, even though you're watching this video now, it's probably in the past, it is in the past. It's in one week, it'll be Mother's Day, and that's about the time where morels start popping up in this area. Morels are these small little mushrooms that are difficult to find because the color is brown, and it matches the leaves that you see on the ground. So basically for fun, some people come out here and search for these mushrooms just because A, it's fun and B, people love eating them because they only grow for like one week every year in this area. I hate the mushrooms, I despise them, they taste disgusting, but I do enjoy hunting for them. And so today I convinced Heath to take me here and we're gonna hunt for them together. We just started one minute ago and we get here and the trail says, please stay on the trail, don't get off the trail. So that's kind of not cool. We might have to break that rule to uh, explore a bit. So that's the beginning of the uh, journey to America for Heath's wedding, I guess. I found the first mushroom of the day. Where do you see it? Point it out. Oh, wow, yeah, I see it. So normally when you see a mushroom, you kind of want to pause and look around because if there's one mushroom, there's usually more. Remember, mushrooms are a fungus and they kind of grow in the same vicinity. So there's probably more and we probably stepped on some just to get to this one. <laughs> That's usually how it works. So kind of looking at that mushroom, I think we're in the wrong area, mainly because the size of the mushroom isn't very big. The thickness, the girth, I guess you could say. And that kind of tells me that there's not enough nutrition in the area for it to have sustained a, a thick growth. So therefore, and there wasn't any any more in the area that we could find, so it tells me that we're in the wrong area, so we have to find a different area with maybe different kind of trees, with different kinds of soils, which is a more fitting environment for the mushroom. So I think we just have to keep walking and get out of areas that are like this, this soil. As I say that, I see another one. Can you see it? Right here, that's one. Um, is that one next to it? And nope. So just this one. <laughs> I say that and I find one. But still, it's not very big and the girth is not very large, so the, the base. So it tells me that there's not, I don't know, there's just going to be a few through here but not a lot. So I, we have to keep moving to find a different location um, where there's more nutrition in the soil, maybe less acidic, more acidic, I don't know what they really like. Um, but uh, I'm thinking it's not here. I just called Heath over here and as I said his name, I see a larger one over here and that's what we're kind of more interested in. So maybe this is the right spot. I don't know. Kind of do a sweep through here again. A big one over here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. So maybe we are in a correct location. All right. Maybe, maybe. Well, with this mushroom here, you'd think that it's, it's a morel mushroom. It has the same sort of characteristics up until you flip it over and it looks like an umbrella. And that is a false morale, and if you eat that, that will not turn out good. I don't know if Brock's got that other one in here, but as you can see, with this one it connects at the stem, and the false one does not. Mm -hmm. So when you're, when you're mushroom hunting, you make sure you... I believe you can eat like the stems, but don't eat the caps, but I just wouldn't risk it. So we just walked for maybe another 25 minutes. After we found those mushrooms, we, we've got nothing. So we decided that we're gonna go away from the kind of downward swampy area and we're gonna we're gonna try to go, you can see you can see it kind of elevates up here a bit. So we're hoping to get away from standing water so the soil should be a little bit more dry. Ha, ah, dead squirrel. And uh, and we're hoping that produces uh, greater conditions for mushrooms. We have no idea, no clue. So the grand total I think was five. Five big ones and you've seen the tall one, that was the biggest one we found. Not very big, but I wish I could do this more often, but I'm not in the country. Are you gonna come here next year? No, I'll know. definitely come here, yeah. Yeah. No, most certainly, I, I think with all the flooding and stuff, maybe that didn't help anything, but. And if yeah. you find a key spot, are you gonna share it with everyone or are you gonna keep it to yourself? Won't tell a soul. Won't tell a soul. Cool, so we just arrived to the beach of Lake Michigan. What's the name of the beach? Uh, Tuscornia. 
Huh? To Scornia. To Scornia. Awesome. But we're still in St. Joe. The reason that we're coming, apparently, is we're looking for what's called beach glass, yeah? Mm -hmm. So beach glass is basically people throw litter into the water, around the water, and waves come and wash it away, take it back and forth, and it rubs across the sand for years and years until it forms a very... How would you describe it? A very, very smooth... smooth Smooth glass, yeah, all of the sharpness is virtually gone and you have these little chunks or pieces of glass that have been, uh, yeah, like sandpapered down to nothing. So we'll show you. We're going to see if we can hunt for some. You also said you wanted to use some as decoration in your wedding, yeah? For sure. Cool. Yeah. So that's the mission. Let's see if we can find some beach glass. So we're walking along and Heath found a snapping turtle, a baby snapping turtle. It really looks like it's dead. He picked it up and it went like limp, its head. We put it in water and is it moving? He, he lifted his head up. I think he's very weak. I don't know, he was just sitting in the foot track of a dog, a dog footprint. Crazy. What the hell is that thing? Man, we're seeing critters everywhere. We got a snapping turtle here. We got like a big ass bug caterpillar thing. It's like a, like a caterpillar thing crawling towards the water. I'll just let them go that way. We found bumblebees just sitting on the ground soaking up sun. Everything's coming to life today. Today is the day to be outside. We might have to go to a different area because we can't really find any glass. I haven't seen anything so far. So and we think the best area is where the current is down underneath there. So maybe we might have to go back because I think this way is a lost cause. What do you think? Agreed. Careful, he almost got wet. All right, we'll head back. Do you feel like a hero? I do. I, I miss him already. What's his name? Bobby. Bobby. You can hear the sound of walking in the sand. It's from what I've read on the internet a while, a while back. Uh, West Michigan has a unique sand in which it is one of few places in the world that makes this unique sound when you walk on it. I have shoes, it's not my shoes. If I use bare feet, it is the same sound. It's a crazy, crazy sound. What do you think about the sound of the beach sand when you walk in it? You know, the it sounds, earth. It's like, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's like a squeak. Yeah. Crazy, right? Weird. Okay, so we arrived at a new place. What's this place called? Rocky Gap Beach. Rocky Gap Beach. All of the rocks on the ground, everywhere, everything that you see is smooth and we can see them from the truck. There's just rocks everywhere, so we really think this is going to be a good spot. You said this place is a good place to find rocks and what? Floaters. Yeah, dead bodies. Apparently this is an area where dead bodies wash up. Maybe due to the undertow or something, I don't know. But hopefully we don't bump into one of those today. Found the first one. Did you? Can you sure did. What do you think? It's a keeper. It is amazing to see all these rocks. They're just literally unbelievably smooth. Everything. There's no jagged edges anywhere. It's, uh, you can tell these have been hit over and over for so many years. I found an old fossil. This is literally like a fossil of some type. So I don't know what this is. That's cool. Sometimes they blend in really well. Look at this. To be honest, I'm not sure what's more interesting. I keep find, finding fossils. It's very hard for you to see them. You know when you find fossils inside of a rock and it looks really cool? Well, imagine those rocks being broken down in a perfect way where the rock falls off and simply the fossils are left behind. I'm finding the coolest thing. In my pocket, I have many more. I'm not sure what's more interesting, finding the glass or finding the fossils. It's so neat to see what they really look like outside of the rock that they've been in for millions of years. It's it's a really cool thing. I keep finding fossils. Check them out. Oh yeah. Do you find these also? Yeah, these are... Uh, Starts with a C. Crustaceans? No. Oh. No, they're a, a very common thing to find down here. Oh. Um, well, now they're not important. Oh, cool. No, you should have kept them. I mean, they are cool. Oh, well, what are you going to do with them? I don't know. I don't like holding on to crap. It is cool, but what am I going to do with them? Carry them in my backpack forever? I thought this was going to be a... Uh, Daska stone? 
Yeah, there's also Podosky stones, which are interesting through here. It's the state stone. It's a stone that represents our state, but um, I don't know what you're gonna do if you find it. Just put it in your house, maybe? That's it, I guess. Thanks for following our crazy adventure while we go find glass at the beach and mushrooms. Interesting, uh, interesting day for sure. Anyway, remember, what do I say at the end, do you remember? Time is running out, start living. Hey, you got it, take care. <laughs>